Let's lift it up. starts to move, that's called a dynamic load. The radius of this small circle is an inch and a half, and the radius of the bigger circle is 12 inches. That's called mechanical advantage. The boom is at a 60 degree angle, and the boom line is at a 40 degree angle. In a straight line, there's a total of 180 degrees. We know this is 60, so this must be 120. Every triangle has 180 degrees total. 120 and 40 is 160, which means this must be 20 degrees. Think of a crane like a seesaw. There's a pivot point in the middle, and if you have equal weights equidistant from the pivot, then everything balances. If the weights are not equal, then you see what's going to happen. These two clips represent 200 pounds. We have to balance 100 pounds. Obviously, it doesn't work. Well, you've got 200 pounds times 4 feet on one side. That gives you 800 foot-pounds. What are foot-pounds? Pounds times feet. So 200 pounds times 4 feet equals 800 foot-pounds. Exactly. We have 800 foot-pounds turning counterclockwise. Let's see what happens when we balance 100 pounds 8 feet away. So here we have another seesaw. Each leg is 16 inches, but this one's at a 60 degree angle. But if there's 2 pounds over here and 1 pound over here, how come they balance? Because we have 1 pound that's 16 inches from the pivot. That's 16 inch pounds. What's an inch pound? Pounds times inches. So if this is 8 inches away and this is only 2 pounds, 8 times 2 would equal 16 inch pounds. Exactly. So what's the line of force? Gravity pulls everything straight down. The direction of that force is the line of force. Here's a gantry crane like they use in shipyards. Let's lift the load. Whoa. So we have a five pound brick and a five pound platform. That's a total of 10 pounds. And we have a 10 pound counterweight over here. Why didn't it work? Well, if you got a total weight of 10 pounds, about 20 inches from the pivot point, that makes for a total of 200 inch pounds. And we have a 10 pound weight over here, 10 inches from the pivot point, and that would be 100 inch pounds. So it wouldn't balance. What can we do to fix that? We could always add more weight. What if we don't have the extra weight? Then we can move it back. And the further away the weight is from the pivot point, the greater the torque. I'm using 50 pounds of force about a foot away from the pivot point. That doesn't seem to be enough. Torque describes the turning force when we use a wrench to rotate a nut around a bolt. I slipped a cheater bar over the wrench. And now I'm using 50 pounds of force with four feet between me and the pivot point. That's a lot easier. Moment and torque are both turning forces. When engineers talk about the force that tries to rotate a crane, they use the term moment of force or just moment. The overturning moment. The force that tries to tip the crane over. What's the riding moment? That's the opposite force that prevents the tip over. In the crane industry, the minimum safety factor is 1.5. This is a ratio of the riding moment over the overturning moment. For example, if we had a hundred overturning moment, we would need a hundred and fifty riding moment. This equals 1.5. Here's an example. The overturning moment is 50 foot-pounds. 
So we need 75 foot-pounds of riding moment. Now we lowered the boom to 30 degrees and added a 28 pound counterweight. The riding moment is the sum of the moment of the crane and of the counterweight, and that's 152 foot-pounds. For the overturning moment, we have the, the load and the boom, and the two of them combined to be 86 foot-pounds. And the ratio of the two is 1.76, which is above the minimum 1.5. We gotta raise the load to about here. Let's go, engine. Whoops. Look like looks like it can't get any higher than that. Pulley's got about four inches before it reaches the top. What can we do? Well, we don't have time to get another crane. But what we can do is shorten the length of these two legs here. Oh, well that way the load will be up here. We can reach this without getting a big crane. So We've decreased the length of these two legs here and here. And we've got two feet of travel now, so there shouldn't be any problem getting the load this height. Raise the load, Andrew. Whoops, something happens. The bar right here and the weight right here weigh about eight three quarters pounds. Now, these two legs here, hold the load up. Each leg is at a 77 degree angle. Each leg holds about half the weight. As you can see, it's about four or five pounds on each leg. Now we've changed the angle on the legs to about 24 degrees. The weight on each leg has increased dramatically. These topics will be covered in our next two crane videos.